There's been a lot of controversy over the start menu for the Windows 8 operating system, and a lot of people love this new Metro UI. But there is an option that you can choose to make sure you get back your classic Windows start menu. This software is known as Classic Shell. It is a SourceForge open source software package that anybody can use at any time. Now this software is of course at my website, so let's pull that up, pcmtechhelp.com. And you can go to pcmtechhelp.com forward slash downloads for all my other free downloads. We're going to highlight the free download section here. We're going to go down to networking and administration, and you're going to look in Windows tools and you're going to look for Classic Shell. And you can go ahead and go there and download it, or you can Google Classic Shell Windows 8 Start Menu, and it'll come up probably at the very, very top. Once you've actually downloaded it, we're going to click it to open it up, and then we're going to actually start our installation so that we can get the installation completed and get our Start Menu back. So we'll be greeted with this Classic Shell Startup Wizard which will allow us to walk through and choose some options on our start menu, which is why it's my favorite start menu option for Windows 8, because we get to pick which one we want. Go ahead and select Next, and of course you have to read the licensing agreement. I'm obligated to tell you that, and agree to it if you do. And at this time, you're just going to look at all these options, and we're just going to keep them all available. It comes with a classic Explorer, which adds a toolbar to Windows Explorer, replacing the UI and fixes some usability problems. Look at the classic start menu. It is a highly customizable replacement for the Windows start menu. We got classic Internet Explorer 9, lets you customize the title bar and status bar of IE9, and the classic shell update, which is just basically your updates. So then we're going to go ahead and select next, and we're going to select install to get the installation started. Like I said, I like this one because you can actually choose between the old Windows 8. Oh, it's going to ask user account control, so make sure you select yes to allow the installation. You get to pick between different versions of the actual uh, start menu that you'd like. So you can view the readme file. I'm just going to uncheck that and I'm going to select finish to get my installation completed. Now in the bottom left hand corner I can select the classic style start menu and it gives me this very fancy or very straightforward I should say start menu option here. Now if I right click on it I can click on settings and this will actually let me customize what type of start menu I'd like. I can do the Windows Classic, I can do the Windows XP, or the Windows Vista and Windows 7 start menu. Personally, I'm a fan of the Windows Vista and Windows 7 start menu, so I'm going to select that and I'm going to select Yes so that I can actually reset my start menu for that option. It does give you some other options as well, such as backing up your settings that you've made to your start menu to an XML file or resetting everything to default. And for here, you can actually do all settings as well at the top, which gives you tons of customizations as what you can do for your start menu. Because you can change your start buttons, you can change your skins, there's different skins. You can change the search box, you can change the menu look, you can change the general behavior, special items, controls, start menu style, like I said before, context menu, sounds, start menu, uh, basically what items show up on your start menu. Uh, Windows 8 settings, start button, and language. So let me go back down here and take a look at my start menu now, and of course it looks like the Windows 7 start menu, which is very cool because now I got access to all of the programs and apps that I wanted before, and I can just basically select them like I used to. One thing I do like again about this is it does give you this apps option, which is actually your Metro UI app, so it does separate and isolate those from one another. And you can still do your Windows search and everything as well, so it's kind of cool. It does give you some instant results as well. So, that's all there is to this video. That's how you get your classic start menu back in Windows 8. I do consider this a valuable tip for optimizing your Windows 8 operating system because I think it's part of improving people's desktop experience overall. Again, my name is Craig Chamberlain. You're watching the PCM Tech Help Show, and I will see you in the next video.